So if you're a YouTuber or a business thinking of going onto YouTube and you want to repurpose some of your YouTube videos to Facebook, then this video is going to show you how to take a snippet of video you've already got on your camera roll and upload it to Facebook as a Facebook Reel because they've got some awesome new features. So make sure you watch till the end because I show you how to choose your thumbnail for your Facebook Reel. Okay, so this is gonna show you how to add a Reel to your Facebook profile. So here I'm on my profile, I've scrolled down and there you can see I have posts or reels. I'm gonna click reels. And as you scroll down, you can see that you have this blue button that comes up, it says create reel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And I'm gonna take a YouTube shorts video that I created earlier on today to upload into this reel. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to show you how to add any wording that you might want to do. And I'm going to add a title. So click edit. And as you can see, there's this brand new editor. As you can see here, you can scroll through the whole video and crop as you wish along here. But I'm just going to show you how to add some text for now. So I'm going to click add text and then I'm going to add here my title. I'm just going to put a little space in there. OK, so to make the title bigger or smaller, you just use this cursor along here. And if you want to change the colour, click the colour area. And I'm just going to go for a red because it just makes it more YouTube orientated. And it's already centred. If you want it to the left, you can click that button. And if you want it to the right, you can click that button. But I'm going to leave it in the middle. Now, what I want to show you now is that I don't want that to be on the centre of my video all the way through. So what I need to do is pause the video, click on the wording here and scroll to the end by using my finger at the bottom not on the actual yellow area but along the bottom until I get to the end and then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to keep moving the video across and just scroll it across to where I want it to show up so as you can see now I've got it on the beginning and then when I scroll across it's going to be visible for nearly three seconds so I want to make it a bit smaller by just grabbing it and bringing it over and now it's going to be there for a little bit longer. Now, if you want to make the actual video timeline bigger, you can just use your two fingers and stretch it. And it actually makes the timeline bigger. So then when I'm playing the title, I can see that it's only going to be on for a little while. And if I want to make it go for a bit longer, I can make it show up for a little bit longer. So it's going to show up for around five seconds. So remember to make the timeline bigger, you need to use your two fingers together and highlight the actual one and then move them apart. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click done. And then what we want to do is that when I click next, you'll see that it takes the thumbnail from when I've clicked the next option. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and as soon as I see the title come up, I'm going to click the next button. So you do have to be quick, especially if you're only showing the title for a very short time. So we'll just wait for that to come along. OK, so now I've clicked the next button. All I need to do is put in my title of my reel and a bit of description. But my thumbnail is now set to show my title. So I'm going to go ahead and name my description. Now here is where you can add your hashtag. So add a hashtag. And that one comes up, so I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna add another one. And you can keep adding those in as you wish. And also if you want to mention anyone, you can do that as well. Once you're done, click the done option. And then down the bottom, just make sure that it's public, that if you wanna tag anyone, you can. If you wanna add a location, you can. And if you want to automatically share to Instagram, you can. And then all you have to do is click the share reel and Facebook will do its stuff for you. And it does take a couple of minutes for it to upload and go onto your feed. Now, once you've done that, if you're not ready to share your reel, which is what I am at the moment, all you can do is you can go back a step and go back a step again. And it will give you the option to save this reel as a draft. So you can go ahead and save it as a draft but it will be removed after 60 days so go ahead and click save as draft and then it will be sitting in your drafts ready for you to go so if you want to find your drafts all you need to do is come back to the beginning stage where you go create reel and scroll along here where it says drafts and then you can choose the video that you want to put up as a draft by clicking on it 
and then you're back ready to start your publishing once options. you've published your video you just need to pull down on your facebook profile and then down here you can see that there's one i've just published and exactly similar you click on it and okay, so let's just recap out. so i hope you found that useful i know that when you step into youtube it can be a scary place but if you focus on youtube and then repurpose your videos from youtube onto facebook then this video has just showed you how to put it up as a reel my name's anita wong don't forget to smash that subscribe button on my youtube channel and do follow along on my other socials as well i'll see you in the next video